if I think about the world right now, um, you know that uh, uh, Churchill once said, you know, uh, parliamentary democracy is the worst system after you've tried everything else. Uh, you know, everything else is worse then, but our own system is no God good either. If you currently look at the, uh, you could say it's in a tongue-in-cheek way, but parla parliamentary democracy in itself was the least bad system that the planet could have. And we felt very confident about it. And yet we've witnessed in the United States uh, very disturbing uh, moments. Uh, we uh, have witnessed in Europe the uh, mess that people have made with Brexit and uh, the mess with the Catalonian question and so on and so forth. And what, what is there in every one of these incidents, it's actually... Uh, the non-respect for truth, uh, uh, fake news and so on is really the... Uh, now, you've heard about Montesquieu, uh, so the parliamentary de democracy is based on the fact that powers need to be, uh, there need to be counterbalancing powers. Right? So the separation of powers is, is necessary for any democracy to be able to survive itself because you know, no single power is strong enough. So they made the distinction between the executive powers, the uh, judiciary powers, and the legislative powers. And the, the separation of these three to Montesquieu was essential. Well, I would believe that if you were to bring Montesquieu back to life and ask his opinion about our current, what is currently wrong with us, is that people are actually allowed to present out and out blatant lies as an expression of an opinion. If I tell you that the sun gives no light, that is not my constitutional right to tell you. If you are a blind person and I'm telling you that the sun, that there is no such thing as light, then I'm lying. And that's not my constitutional right. So I think if we are to construct the, the uh, democracies of the 21st century truthfulness, uh, reliability of information is, is, is paramount because only then uh, uh, the population is able to, to make up its own mind or to actually define better what the issues are. Uh, I also think that Montesquieu would say what we need to do is to reduce the difference between our, to reduce um, the task of politics to what is actually decisions. Um, decisions as opposed to conclusions. If you and I have an argument, we have a company together and we have an argument about what should we do with the copying machine? Should we lease it? Should we rent it? Should we buy it? And so on. We can, we can draw up a few Excel sheets and we will come to a conclusion. You know, it's, it's just a matter of if you, God forbid, uh, have a, a, an appendix problem, uh, it's, it's actually a a technical thing for a surgeon to solve. It would not be good even if I were elected to deliver you from your appendix because I'm not a medical doctor. So leaving things that are technical to people who actually know something about it and reducing the role of politics to actual societal decisions and decisions based on objective, true information, not on blatant lies like Brexit was, not on blatant lies like uh, President Trump was telling, not on blatant lies like the Russian public is told currently. That, that in my opinion, is... Uh, and the search for truth, I think, is the, uh, the cornerstone of, uh, of what we need to do in the 21st century when information uh, is, uh, is, is going around the globe at a speed of light, but disinformation and lies as well. So actually making sure uh, that uh, non-truthfulness is, is in some way sanctioned, I think is essential. And otherwise we are, we are in dire straits, I think. Yeah.